You don't. And uh, just like that, welcome to another episode of Good Spirits Only. Got very, very special guests in the building tonight. <laughs> Infamous group in Birmingham, making their way, doing it how they need to do it, real music, actually real family, putting together good energy, male and female energy. One of the members, arguably the king of Alabama, AKA Black Elvis, <laughs> AKA David Crockett, Mm, 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 mm. AKA Dirty Hair. Mm. Neighborhood Superstar. Birmingham J. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kept that name. Toy Matthews is also with them. Together they make the bicycle. Everybody make some noise. Y'all holler at your folks. Tell them what y'all been up to. Yeah. So, what is the bicycle for people that don't know? Explain that. Well, uh, what I've got it down to, like, you know, a summary or what have you, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. combining mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of the male and the female energies. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. You know, coming together. Right, 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 right. Positively, right, 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 to right, put right. the frame in motion. Woo, speak so. Um, there is a lot going on currently in the world, <laughs> and there, and it's just one small facet of the many. One small facet. Yes, one small facet of the many issues that we have plaguing well, our uh, country, our existence, our time, our moments. Um, there seems to be a division. Who represents all the motherfucking girls that I've never been missing in America? But they are motherfucking talk about this black that's missing out of Washington and also the rest of the world. Go ahead, Tori. Two groups, and that's male and female. We also represent everybody that's right here. They got their stimulus check. That folks in Hong Kong that's out here. Everywhere you, everywhere you go, it's motherfucking crowd. <laughs> we represent for everybody motherfucking out here. Give money too. You know what I'm saying? Go for it, Tori. Yes, and we just want to reinforce or remind or recollect or feel or we never been the people that hate on nobody so you hate don't no get you nowhere like, you know what i'm saying we have it for the next person for when your blessing come around you can receive your blessing Go ahead, embracing mm -hmm. you know one another's energy working together there seems to be a divide, you know, with all the different movements that uh, 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 seem to divide the male and the female. When in actuality, the common connection or the common denominator between men and women is That men. weird shit and that real shit. Love between the men and the women, and we do that in brotherly and sisterly love. We are brothers and sisters. So, on a more comfortable and softer note, we like a hip hop BB and CC, more like a Donnie and Marie. He would like to say a Fuji's with like a touch of Outcast and all of those things. So, we do like, um, you know, like what you say, hip hop, poetry, we do rap, we sing, we dance, we act, we give you a bit of theater. It's ageless. We just want you to join us. We also visit some people that you like you know how people go we always do it ain't nothing new just like the Beatles say with everything turn 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 you know you turn you know, you use everything we want to reiterate that we all feel the same do the thing and that's what we talk about you know things like that when we do our live we have a live that we do every Sunday if you tune in to us right now it's on his page Birmingham J205 listen mm. I love watching you guys on your live Oh, do you? you two together. I don't know whose idea it was, to, it was to place you two together, but it's perfect. It was here. That male and female energy that y'all bring together is awesome for the live. I love watching it. Just talk a little bit more about, you know, what brought that about. Well, let me tell you something. <clears throat> Man, I've had worked together so long. Like my other sisters, you know, they be like, uh, they kind of be, because they sing too, so they kind of be like, you know, like, when we gonna do something, when we gonna do something, you know, I think me and her vibe just really like 
She's just always available. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she's a sister that get on your nerves. And let that me tell got, you hey, why I'm available. Sister. Because I have the freedom to do so. Yeah. I have control over my limited responsibility. So I am free to do whatever I want to do whenever I want to do it. If I want to do it, continue. Sound yeah. like you bossed up. I Continue. Look, she look like a mole's and one of them mole's. Like, I saw her. I said, Ramadan! Ramadan! <laughs> but no, you know. No. Sound like you're having more fun with, with the bicycle now. Well, what, what ha actually happened, I called her one day, man, and I was like, hey, we need to do some songs. You know what I'm saying? And she was like, huh? You know, like, I said, man, what you got going? You know, um, and she had a little song on one of her friends, but they ain't really just had some stuff really. With solid. It, solid. You okay. know what I'm saying? So she was just like, uh, pretty much like, man, you know, I ain't really got nothing going on right now, for real, for real. So, you know, what you got, what you got in mind? So I was like, well, check this out. <clears throat> we should do a group, you know? And she was like, oh, okay. You know, and I'm like, well, you know, like, for real, we need to do a group. She was like, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, we need to do a group. She was like, okay. So I'm like, she, she just, just talked, yeah. So we end up, I said, hey, you know, uh, we don't hook up this weekend. And we all just start working on stuff we did. We started putting down songs, man. It's just start, you know, like overlapping, just flowing. And it's like, <laughs> that's, when we start putting together the songs, that is the vibe I wanted. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's the vibe I wanted because that's what the game is missing. Okay. And you can feel the gaps, you know what I'm saying? It's not the point of, I'm looking at the, sitting down, looking at the phone. Okay, I want us to get a deal or whatever. I'll do this, or, you know. Really, you know, it ain't that. What I'm looking at is just putting a good, solid vibration out there. Good, you know what I'm saying. Instead of talking about, you know, which I do, I be the one that go turn left because she be like, "Bro, why you had to say that?" I was like, "It's gonna be dope because people's not gonna expect you to do be doing what you're doing and me to do what I do." You know what I'm saying? So I ain't really just so much changing what I do. It's just the message that we got behind it. And the vibes. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, we, 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 instead of, you know, doing and not knocking the young generation of what they have going on. Because that's, that's, that's their vibe. That's their vibe. Right. And this, this way, that's what people fail to realize. Stop knocking them. Right. Let them be them. Right. Because if you don't, be you. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? If you don't be you and don't stop saying what they got going on because you ain't their age, you can't fit into their world, their world and they buy it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And then if, if they accept you, do for what they accept you for. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, for the East people out here that's selfish, that's getting to a certain point that can help the next young person, but they selfish and they want it for themselves. And they, you know, they're, uh, of of a certain age mm -hmm. and they still they were trying to block the young person from coming up i don't think that's right no nah, you know? that ain't right at all you know so um we just started coming together man we started putting together good songs man i'm saying like really really good songs and my thing was you know taking it going back to recreate something and put our taste on it. Okay. And once we put our taste on it, let them you know start showing people that we don't and we got our own vibe. <clears throat> and watch, you know, like my people in Atlanta and Florida, they've been hitting us like, man, y'all really, really got something. Like, seriously, like, y'all really, really got something. Just, just keep going and putting everything together. So what we did, we started actually like going on live every Sunday after we record, uh, when we finish record, okay. uh, we started going live and started letting people uh, see that we are a group and what we're doing. The name Bicycle came up. One day me and her was talking. Uh, we was just thinking of a name. Toy pretty much like this. Toy is a person she sit back and she look and she listen. She's not a person full of words unless you give her a reason to say those words. You know what I'm saying? So I, I was I was just talking to her about some stuff and she she's very. Uh, for example, we had a, it was a show at Marianda, uh, what, about five years ago, and um, me and her. She she ended up going down there with me. And I tell you, she traveled all the time with me, all the time, okay. all the time. And uh, we got into Mariana and I told her, I said, she all over my first and my second album, she all over. So we, uh, we get into Mariana, uh, Scarface, I, I was opening up for Scarface and uh, um, we, got a, we got a VIP. They brought the wings out, they brought us the liquor, you know, everything that was on my rider, they brought it out. 
and uh, she was up there. And she, she, I'm talking. She getting, she getting bent, you know. And I, I came and I, I whispered her. I said, "Sit. Uh, I want you to. Uh, you, you feel like getting up there on stage tonight?" And she looked at me and said, "Where?" I said, "Uh, you remember this blah, blah 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 song?" And she was like, "Yeah." Well, she said, "Hold up," and she said, "Okay, yeah." So I was like, you sure? Like we just, we, this like, we just at the show. Like I ain't saying that to her about her doing this. I'm just looking at the crowd. You feel that sky face okay. here tonight. Okay. Man, it's super packed in the Mariana. That's when, you know, when it was around the corner from the look, from where is that now? Okay. But, you know, but it's super packed with a toy. It was mm-hmm. super duper packed, man. So uh, I was just telling her, I was like, hey man, I want you to, she just like, okay, yeah. I said, you remember this song? She was like, she was like, yeah, I got it. So I said, you sure? Because she didn't, she wasn't, she didn't just be like, yeah, this and that, that and that. She's like, yeah, I got it. Mm. Yeah, I got it. So I said, hey, I'm going to give you the mic in a minute. She was like, man, we went over there, man. We cut the fuck up, man. Man, uh, uh, what, what Dirty Bagels was like, why y'all cut up? We cut up, man. It's like, uh, that right there let me know, you know, then I, I had it on my mind then. But I had to prepare myself to get out of a certain stage. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? To prepare myself to get in a stage of lecturing. You know what I'm saying? Because it's pretty much like you're teaching. You know what I'm saying? When you go to doing those type of things, you got to get re- prepare yourself to 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 get into a a, a, mo- a daddy mode again. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what you're pretty much doing to be able to educate the youth and to be able to educate the people around you. Yeah. So that's what that was. That's what's up. And I, I feel the vibes. It's dope music. One thing 2020 taught us is that people going to find what they like. And when they find it, they're going to listen to it nonstop. Um, so I feel like the vibrations and the energy that y'all are putting out, man, is dope. And you know, one thing about it, man, I don't want to. Like, I'm gonna forever rock the Kazaz. But <clears throat> when people see me, man, I don't want to put out the point of you got to be a certain type of way. You dress the term certain type of way. And I you know when we step out, do shows and certain stuff, of course, you know, but I want people to be, be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Be whoever you are within, be you. Right. Because if a person going to love you and fuck with you, they're going to be you because now, the, the game have changed. Yeah. It's not about telling a lie. It's about building a true brand of who you are. Who you are. And, you go, and you're going to grow. That's right. So you're not going to be the same person that you were when you first came in. Exactly. Yeah. And that's 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 the key, man. That's And, and that's what the forming of biosynthesis was all about. You know what I'm saying? Bringing the male and the female the energy together to create the frame of the bike. Because, you know, you can, you can ride on that one cycle wheel, but at the end of the day, shoe is better with two wheels. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. And you already know when you take off, you know the most you come when you go to Pelham. <laughs> so let me ask about the So Much Joy track. Okay. Explain how that came about. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you know what? I'm going to tell you it was so crazy, man. It was so freaking crazy. I recorded that song like about five years ago. You know what I'm saying? And it's like I wanted. I just recorded one verse, and I really wanted to go somewhere else with the record. Okay. But uh, it was a uh, my man that I was talking with out of Florida, and he had some uh, more artists out of Atlanta that was making some moves. We tried to get them on the song. You know what I'm saying? It was a complete failure. You know, so we didn't never do that with it. You know what I'm saying? But everybody that heard. My verse in that song was like, oh man, you going to fuck off. So I kept the song. I actually shot a video for the record. Okay. But I never, I never even let him put the video together to put it out. I, I shot it and I just I just was like, I don't want to do nothing with that right now. Okay. So, and then how about he lost the footage anyway? But anyway, yeah, that shit is crazy, hey, man. But it's real. It happened yeah. to me several times. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's, it happened like for reasons. It's good. Yeah, and, and you know, man, I, man, when me and her talk, I said, man, you got to get on this song right here. And she said, you already got this shit. I said, no, oh, man, you got to get on here. So I, what I did, though, I didn't let her hear. I let her hear this this way. 
and I said, write you a verse. Mm -hmm. Man, she came, she outdid the, the dudes in Atlanta that I was fucking with. She outdid them. I'm talking about, it's like, her, you can't hear that song without her verse. Appreciate it, it's like, you can't hear that song without her verse. And that's what I used to tell her all the time. Um, and, and that's what made me so excited. When we first, that was one of the first songs we recorded. So that's what made me so excited to, to continue doing it. Because when she, we laid that song, she got she did phenomenal. So I was like, oh, we got to keep going. So, you know what I'm saying? That's that's how that came about, you know. So um man, we like 15 songs in. For real? Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? sister have her own goal or what she want to achieve with us too you know what i'm saying but my goal person is to of course to take it way out of here i don't want to put no captivity on on neighborhood superstar or, or this or that you know what i'm saying we we were we, we felt the work you know what i'm saying so with that with that being said the things i want to do as far as myself i want you know even to present to her is Things that like you got things that come to Avondale Brewery. Okay. I want us to be a part of those things. You know what I'm saying? Not just, you know, she done theater. So she dealt with a lot of different um <clears throat> um races of people. I don't want to change that. I want to continue that flow. Dealing with all kind of people, you know what I'm saying? That's in this world. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and when I went to it, when I I I done worry about nothing. I, I shot Worry About Nan in Orlando and Daytona. 
And when I went down there and I started doing stuff with the Latino community, yeah, and I seen how they embraced me like that, yeah. So to come back and be able to do something with my sister, I know they're gonna embrace us too. You know what I'm saying? For some parent reasons, people are, people are always embrace my voice. Man, you got a very distinctive voice. Man, they always do. I voice. put you, you, and the last Mister Big recipes, last Mister Big probably got the two most distinctive voices out of the South. Period. Big was a cool dude. Big pissed a lot of people off. It's so crazy. <laughs> but when it came, man, big when it came to me, man, big I always like. Big used to always tell me, man. Big came to me. Big said, "Man, check this out. Why well, I heard you in the Midwest?" Then he came back to me another time. He said, "Man, I don't know. Who you might blow." He said, "Dog, you about to blow? I heard you in Dallas." I said, "You heard me in Dallas, dog." He said, "Man, I heard you, Jay. Man, I heard you just in Dallas, man. I heard, I heard you in Dallas." Man, I'm telling you, you know, he was like, <laughs> he was like, man, I couldn't believe I heard you in Dallas. I was like, damn, you know, but what record was that at the time? Uh, and Mike was on uh, me on my pimp. Okay, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> yeah, um, they really like supported that record. Okay, you know what I'm saying? yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I really, being honest with you, man. Like, I, I tell anybody out there, man, make sure you know. I'm gonna I'm 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 say this right here, and I, and I know I'm on praise, and I I, I want to say this because the buddy hot right now, and I I want him to hear me from when I say this. Lil Bam, if you if you if you looking at this, and I know you you know what I'm saying like you in the forefront front front right now, right? Man, make sure you handle your business, right? Make sure you handle your business, bro. right? You know what I'm saying like like like. Make sure you handle your business. Right, right. If you want to get there, handle your If you want to get there, fuck this, fuck that, fuck the weed, fuck the pills, nigga, focus on your business. Because you're being blessed to be at a point right now. And if you don't focus on, the, focus on your business, you don't fumble the football. And you don't sit down and say, damn, what I done done. Man, focus on the business. Real talk, and I, and I say that to anybody that's at a certain point. But the reason why I say that to him because he's making a lot of moves, right? You know what I'm saying? And he actually, I, I respect what he's doing because he getting he getting it authentically. And he dope. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Super dope. Yeah, yeah. Super you know dope. what I'm saying? You know he getting it authentically. Being honest with you, you know. I, that's that right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, he been putting it down. You know what I'm saying? It's right. just the point of like when you when you start building a brand, right? Just because you can rap, that's cool. But when you go to building a brand, okay, that's a whole nother level. Man, when you came out with the little dance, nigga, you building a brand. You branding that shit, right? So when you go to branding that shit, that's when your shit gonna move. You know what I'm saying? That's what remind, remind me of what I was doing. But see, we didn't have, man, if I had the visuals, it would have been over. Mm. It would have been over. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, you you, you know, with that being said, I like this grind because it's starting <clears throat> right here. Yeah. Then it's, it's slowly elevating. Yeah. That means when it's slowly elevating, that means it's really going there. Yeah. So once it gets there, nigga, you will be remembered for life. Definitely. You'll be remembered for life because it put, you know, so coming together and doing, man, she don't travel with me a lot. Yeah. Um, she don't want a lot of places with me. And that's just what I'm saying, what she done done with me, what she done done herself. Right. Because she, with my other sister. Right. And what she done done with herself with theater. And she worked with KO. You know what I'm saying? She done done so much with KO. What was that time like working with KO? It's cool. That's my brother. <clears throat> Me, I made him with lyricists. Me and my sister, uh, we and we're still ly lyricists. Mm -hmm. We are about to do us. She's about to do a, a project with by the bicycle. So it's whatever. It's cute that it's going to be the bicycle featuring lyricists, and I'm connected to both of those things. Oh, yeah, so that's, that's love, and that's, that's my dope. brother and my yeah. sister. So that's beautiful. But it's going to be the bicycle featuring Nisa. No, it's not. Oh yeah, it's going to be the bicycle featuring featuring Nisa. 
That ain't free trip. Right. <laughs> See how that <laughs> enough scene. It's gonna be a vibe soon. And then look what you heard what he said. And no, I, like like said. I like I like that concept because when you playing with the two, you gotta have that balance. Cause it's still yeah, and it thank that's why I said but thank it's you. It's a bicycle sickles feature and leasing. No, it's bicycle sickles feature and lyrics. Oh, it's just a bicycle sickles feature and lyrics. Because let we me explain to, it. Thank you. Do it. Her with you is the bicycle. Thank you. Her with Lisi, Nisi, Nisi. Her with Nisi is lyricist, right? So she's the connecting to both. So it has to be both. Yes, and we all connected anyway by DNA. So he gonna sit down. And let me go on to whatever my next information. I'm a dog. I'm a dog out here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the I'm about Thank you, oh, brother. I got I'm you. I'ma say this some like, bullshit. <laughs> no, the not. whole time I'ma say this some bullshit. I'ma fuck it up the whole I'm time. I'm fucking with that though. That's a nice concept mm-hmm. though. Mm-hmm. So we can't wait to hear that. Yeah, and it's gonna be cool. Yeah, it's a it's a grown people vibe, man. Mm-hmm. For for the people. So I always wanted to ask you like. Where did, like how would you say your style came about and like what made it? I mean, your voice is so distinctive, but then your the style also is different as well. Domino, dom a twist between Domino and uh, I'd say Tupac. A twist between Domino, Tupac, and you know what I'm saying, Scarface. Okay, you know what I'm saying. Um, I don't rap fast at all. No, when I rap fast. I stumble over my words. I can't do it. I ain't, I ain't that type of artist, you know what I'm saying? I like people to hear what I got to say. I talk slow, I rap slow. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, my voice raspy. I, I learned how to use my, my my sister. She my older, our older sister, Nisi. Uh, she always used to win. Every time Win Radio used to have a a a a thing on <laughs> Sunday, she used to win every week. Every week, my sister used to win that. Every week. With like a talent thing yeah, or something? Yeah, man. Okay. On the radio, she okay. used to win. That was on WJLD. That WJLD, was on the AM right. station. Every week, she used to win. Every freaking week. She used to win all the contests. Whatever contest she used to be right, in, right. she would win. She, uh, if she didn't Dang. win, she was the number two. And, you know, she was and in that band. Like, she's, a, well, she's a leader. You know, yeah, she she's she out, man. I'm talking about. Her voice is fucking phenomenal, man. You know Matter of fact, you can like, find them at Shop Cuts in East Lake. Yeah, man, like all, all hands down, dog. Ricky Smiley love him. Ricky yeah, Smiley, he, he see, he don't say, he said. And when he saw me the last time I went, <laughs> and, and that inspired Rick. me. That's why we had lyricists. Okay, 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 okay. For real, for real. Yeah, for real. Take us back to that during that well, time. In another uh, cell of time, in another pocket of time, we began doing lyricists working together. You know, I see her like, well, like what he was talking about. That was inspiring for me, so I wanted to sing with my sister. So we got the opportunity to open for like you know all the acts, the R and B acts that everybody loved at the time that were, that were coming through Birmingham. We were doing the Kims and the the Kims and the Mazes and the Anthony Hamiltons and oh, uh, whatever. Shout out to Wing Out. Yeah, shout out to Wing Out, Derek yeah. Webb. You know that was our manager. He was helping us do that thing, helping us realize our dreams. So he was very instrumental in that. That's what's you up. You know, you know. So shout out to Wing Out. Yes, yeah, shout out to Wing Out, Derek Webb. Yes. Oh, yeah. so with that being said, I learned now. That's why I was telling you. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, you know what? Forget all that being high. Forget all that being, you know what I'm saying? This nigga around with me, that's my dog, that's my brother, that's my nigga. Man, I have a good business. Right. Yeah, if you, if you really want to, you know what I'm saying, know something for yourself, I'm telling you. Right. Because you know what? Man, I done got in play, certain places, man, and people go to ask me stuff, I don't know what the fuck they talking about. Damn. You know what I'm saying? You learn, trust me, mm-hmm. you learn. And I had people try to, you know what I'm saying? One thing about it though, I want to leave my nigga. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Cause the way the kind of money them boys put up behind me, I want no lead, my niggas. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what, what you know. Like y'all, my nigga made mistakes. Fuck it, that was my nigga. Yeah, forever my nigga. No nigga that you know. Like I was like, shit, y'all niggas wouldn't even be in my face if it wasn't for these dudes. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So I fell in my heart. You know what I'm saying? I ain't care about none of that. These my niggas. I just felt like I. Should help handle my business, bro. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I would have put myself in a better situation. Well, that's dope. Loyalty. That's right. I don't know. Get, man, I ain't give a fuck what nobody had to say. I ain't had to. I wasn't finna move off. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. stayed here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I had plenty of offers and people that wanted me to move. No. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it, what the thing about it, and I know this is a different day and age. You you had just said it before. But the things that I'm saying, everybody that's sitting out at home in TV land right now, they can, they can believe it. Okay. Without even just saying, okay, I'm going to research what he's saying. I can believe it. You want to know why? When you woke up, you heard me. When you went to sleep, you heard me. Yeah. When you woke up again, you heard me. When you went to sleep, you heard me. Exactly. You messed around. When you went to the club, you heard me. That later on that night, you heard me some more. Then when you going home, you heard me. When you get in the car, you hear me. Yeah. When you wake up the next morning, you're gonna keep on hearing me. Damn, who is this? You understand what I'm saying? When I make a long story short, I didn't have to, you didn't have to oh, you didn't have to go on the on the internet to hear me. Okay. You heard me in real life. Right. Not on not in internet life. Right. You know what I'm saying? You heard me at home when you with your family. When you cutting on the radio and y'all having fun, you hear me? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And you're on your everyday radio station, the real airway. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Well, you you know, like you can be somebody else, but damn, they got to be authentic too. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, that's how I feel about that. But I want to say this right here for the people like my nigga Fred P. Shout out to Fred P. Shout Some out to Fred like P. Man. Minus the XO. Shout out to PA Boys. Shout out to Pimp Tech Type Gang. Shout out to all the people like Merck Camp. You know Merck. what I'm saying? Um, what my boy's name is over there. Man, I'm talking about they had a uh, Merck, uh, not, not Merck Camp. The other one too, they had a big, like Merck, they had a big movement. Uh, 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 Miss Cat used to be over there with them. Uh, I'm talking about they had a big movement, man. Bubba, Bubba was his name. Bubba, my dude Bubba, you know what I'm saying? He had a dude with him named Two Face that had the eyes tattooed in the back of his head, bro. <laughs> Damn. That right there was like deep, bro. Uh, they was called uh, uh, some squad. But but they they were some good people, man. You know what I'm saying? Bubba was a real good dude. You know what I'm saying? Like Bubba, like the Fizz bus Bubba. Damn. Uh, he was in Dollar Shade right there on the side of Platinum. You know what I'm saying? This city got a lot of history. It do. You know and what I'm saying? I'm trying to capture that, man. I'm yeah. trying to I'm trying to do documentaries, interviews. Like I Elquist, just feel man. Like... Elquist put a lot of money behind the BA boys. Oh. Nina Ross, them, man, my quest, man. Listen, what but they had the van rap. Yeah. They yeah. they wrapped that bitch and put them on the side. Yeah. Them boy, man, them boys, man, he took them boys and moved yeah. them boys to uh, Atlanta, man. Yeah, he had the Hummer too. They came down to Montgomery when I was going to school down there. They was they was moving. They was definitely moving. I respect that. Yeah. I respect that coming from them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, and what I mean by that, not just the point I'm saying, like coming from them, I respect, you know, the work that they was putting in. You know what I'm saying? Um they didn't get a lot of the radio shine like that. That's why a lot of people, you know, kind of forget them. Yeah. But they put in a lot of work. Yeah, they definitely some pioneers in this yes, thing. They put in a lot of work, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to JoJo. Shout out to PJ. PJ, man, that's my little brother, man. And you know, PJ, you know, like PJ come up under me and know Wood, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's like my little brother. Yeah. His mom, his dad, I know his grandma, Pearl. Like I I go so far back with them till I was a little boy and I used to try to pick up PJ and walk with PJ. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, I, I remember uh, I showed PJ his first, like, Tech 9 and Mac 11. Ask him about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? PJ was looking at me like, man, what you, you got? You know what I'm saying? Damn, you know what I'm saying? I think I should even show him something. I opened that thing PJ said, PJ was sit down, man. I had to be about 14. You let him know it was real out here. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I just I sit down and I smile. I laugh and I, I see these young younger generation coming up. I feel like, you know, to us, we are the OGs to them. Exactly. And I feel like a lot of us failed them. 
because you know what I'm saying you look at a lot of them if you coming up and you saying that uh fuck a Birmingham J fuck a uh BA boys fuck a Fred P or Mighty Still Attitude if you saying a ROA fuck us you know what I'm saying my thing is I'm looking at your parents because what kind of parents you have right you know what I'm saying because if you have solid parents they'll tell you. Them guys put on, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Guys, man, I love talking about the people that put on for this city. You Me know too. what I'm saying? Me too. You know, I, mean, I love that good history, man. That's it, man. You no, know, Jap, John, what up, Jap? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, 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 like the people that really put in, you know what I'm saying? Even if they became neighborhood superstar. Right. Or even in their little section. Exactly. Even in that little set. Exactly. I mean, the people that See I people lost you. from the ninth grade, Man, even, even to the tenth grade. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like I lost a lot of friends from the eighth grade to the tenth grade. Damn. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Like from stealing cars, from gang beef. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, dog, you couldn't even walk down the street without getting robbed. Damn. Niggas roll with rob. Niggas had robbing crews. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. My partner went to rob somebody and got robbed. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Damn. So niggas fail to realize this city was no this motherfucking awesome. joke. Magic Wish City. Wish I would write that in my story. Magic City. Magic City. Home of the Kido. Mark Sherry Capri. Wood Grain on the low. When I first started really hanging in Southtown, my nigga, like, like, bro, this shit was like, man, I go on somebody's house, man. Man, it's like, these niggas had plastic curves up. Nigga laying on a fucking mat with cedar bricks laying up under this hole. But had so many motherfucking assault rifles <laughs> and assault weapons <laughs> and wasn't even motherfucking 16 years old. So a nigga can't tell me niggas wasn't doing this back then. Yeah. I seen I mean, it. I lived it. Yeah. I'm doing, there with know. these people. I'm seeing what niggas doing. Yeah. I'm seeing niggas not come to school no more. And they 16 years old, staying with a whole 25, 24. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm li I'm seeing niggas take care of their whole fucking family at fucking 14 and, you know what I'm saying, 16. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I seen, man, I done seen niggas selling, like, dope, like, cars. You know what like I'm saying? Like records and tapes. You know, yeah. This is everybody's Real story, talk. you know. You know what I'm saying? Niggas act like, this shit new. No, this shit is not new. Right. No, I'm saying I'm talking about this was the wave of the whole complete. Everybody got like stuff. everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I remember people like yesterday that I knew that died from violence, gun violence, gang violence, drug violence. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm gonna tell you the difference from now though. We didn't have Man, them niggas got show assault with <laughs> And them motherfucking clips hanging like this. That motherfucking baby Draco. I ain't lying, my nigga. Them, they motherfucking clips. They guns, that, that big, that long. And they clips hanging like this. And who needs that? How ever did they get that? Who the gave them a permit to But you know that? what, though? To them, and I feel them to a certain extent, because there's so much shit going on, You, you it's necessary. So let me ask you this, both of you. Who's your favorite artist? Who's your favorite artist? All time. Ladies first. I don't know. My folks. My folks. My people, my favorite artists. Because it's so many that I adore. So, but who inspired me? I'm, I'm about a feeling. Okay. So I would say who inspired me, who got me out, you know, who, who got me even to this point. Would be like my family would be. So my favorite singer, I guess it would be. I can't be my sister, I don't know. That's dope. Who was your sister? Lisa. That's dope. <laughs> oh. Shout out to Denise. She was. She was. She well, is. you know, it's the one and only my favorite artist. Like, the one and fucking only. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace. You already know who it is. Who? Oh, please don't let me die. Man, man, rest in peace. You already know my favorite artist. You know what I'm saying? It, it's the rawest artist. It's the rawest rapper, of best rapper of all time. Please don't let me die. The best rapper of all time is my favorite artist. Come on, somebody. Who is it? Who you think? I'm hoping you saying Tupac. 
Period. Okay. We they can't, the, hey, my hey, nigga, can't we get, on the same page. Period. That's it. Yes, sir. That's it. That's hey. You it ain't, like I don't give a, a fuck when nobody say it ain't no nigga been pop. It ain't no nigga that made you you cry. He and gave smile you every emotion. He gave you everything. Exactly. Everything. I, mean, I don't know He's if I not cry. better rapper than than Biggie Smalls. Their mama ain't never made you cry. She weird. But anyway, yeah, you know what I'm saying. But you, God's plan be. Now, God's plan is, though. I can't lie. That motherfucker dropped one man, day. Man, that is no man. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> he dropped I one day. But I mean, come on, man. Come on. <laughs> that boy is not near that. We talking about Tupac. Shit. Yeah, and Tupac. Said yeah. All we that. talking about I just when I was young, me and my mama had beef. 17 years, years old, kicked out, out on the street. street. Now, back, come on. Hey, come, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah, yeah, come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. like, like, like. She said, we were deep. Ugh. I like, come on, man. Like, 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 that sound like some play shit compared to, to pop. That sound like nigga kicking, uh, kicking a little bit of baseballs in the so field. So let me ask you this: How you feel? Have you have you seen the the, the hip hop uncovered or something like that? The new show where they got Haitian Jack on there, and now they basically trying to make Pop look like he just was this big frog. We haven't seen it, but we will. You know, they have a holiday. I don't like that. I don't like how they doing well, it. Well, but they say somewhere in the You got to understand how the game is. How the game is. How the game lays itself out. Of course, if I was Haitian Jack and I was somewhere, pop the whole thing out. I don't even know who yeah, Haitian Jack is. Come on, man. Like, 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 yeah, yeah, if I was Haitian Jack, I'm going to let, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a dog pop that You know, man, man, that nigga said, you know, a six thing Haitian Jack. Man, that nigga dog Haitian Jack out. I'm talking about, he goes, that nigga through the mud. Hell yeah, if I was Haitian Jack. So I'm you say it's justified. It's mud. justified. Yeah, then. you know okay. what I'm saying? Like, but man, why, after so, why after so long? Well, I'll tell you this. It don't matter. <laughs> yeah, your name is through the mud. Do you know Pop still going platinum? I can believe. Man, yeah. this man still going platinum. It ain't nobody so more workers than this man, man. I really want to know because this probably my this probably I know this is my favorite Birmingham J song. Hey. How did this come about? <clears throat> Lil John, Birmingham J. Running your mouth. He running your mouth. <laughs> because uh, let me, I'm gonna take you back okay. to a young pimp. I think I'm in shit. Yeah, I, I'm definitely in high school. And every time they played this song at the house parties, it was fights. <laughs> I'm talking about this song. It was very. Anybody that's in my age bracket, they definitely love this song right here, bro. <laughs> For real. How did that song come about? Well, you know what, man? Every time I used to go to the club, I stand up there and I used to see everybody that keep running their mouth, talking that shit. <laughs> they had to get the fuck. While you running your mouth, you get your head punched in your face. <laughs> While you keep talking. You know what I'm saying? So I used to be like, shit. When uh my nigga, I got with my nigga from the Dungeon family, uh, and when I teamed up with Akia, yeah. you know, I'm like, well, my nigga, my nigga from the Dungeon family was like, man, I can get a song with Lil John if you want. And nigga said, Lil John? They were like, yeah, man, we can get a song with Lil John. So they were like, you talking about Lil John? Lil John? They were like, yeah. Damn. You know what I'm saying? So that's my nigga. Sure enough, that was his nigga. Damn. We reached out to Lil John, and um, what it was, you know, I just everything, all my albums came off my friends. Okay. I ain't lying, dog. All my albums came off my niggas. Whatever my niggas did, that was my album. I I, I made my album off Southtown Project. I made my albums off my niggas, you know what I'm saying, Rod and Carlos. Yeah. I made my albums off my cousin, Corey Fowler. Yeah. I made my albums off my niggas out of, some of my niggas out of Avondale. You know what I'm saying? I, that's where my albums come from. And me and my nigga that was from Avondale, but he stayed in East Lake, you know what I'm saying, with me. You know, we used to pull capers, you know what I'm saying? So 
that's why I made, that's how my album was made off my friends. That's what's up. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? Like everything was made off what I seen my niggas do, oh, do to my face. Mellow. Yeah. Damn. You know what I'm Shout saying? out it to Mellow. Yeah, Hello. it came from my nigga uh, Elbow. My nigga Elbow made the beat first. Yeah. And my nigga Mellow came behind him and revamped the beat. Okay. Okay. And then we went in there. Nobody didn't hear this beat. Damn. But Lil John. Okay. Lil John made approval stamp for this track. Okay. So it was an exclusive. Yes. Like we got it. We got in the studio, man. We went to patchwork and we did this. So when he when John pulled up, he was he was working on a little strappy album. A little strappy ain't even came out of here this time. You know what I'm saying? Um, I should have dropped that song right then. When I when I made that keep one in your mouth, I should have dropped it the next day. That shit was so hard. We should have dropped it the next day. No, okay. I didn't even you know, when I did the song with Bun B, I never forget. You know, I was so nervous. I was like, damn, I ain't gonna out rap me. You know, kid. My nigga Mello was like, nigga, do your style, bro. Yeah. Your style finna stand out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And it did. They want to hear Jay. My I'm style inspired. stood out, bro. You know what I'm saying? If, when I got on the song with with the, the song with Bun and Ray Cash and all them niggas, my style stood out. I yeah. ain't lying, dog. It's just like, my style, no matter where they put me, my style stood to out. this day, you, even you. on the even on the bicycle, shit. Right. Right. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Because exactly. I know for me, I never heard of Kazels until Birmingham J said it. And even with that, I remember when I met Ross. I met Ross and tell the said TJ DJ. Okay. Guess what I had on Kazel. And guess what he told? What? Well, I like him fine. <laughs> guess what he stole away? Kazel. Kazels. Come on, Rose. <laughs> Shout out my dog, Birmingham J. Rose. Send us some Bel Air, man. God damn. And that's the real shit. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> to this day. I'm going to send y'all some shit, boy. Listen. I got to ask. Back it on up like a U Haul truck. Shit's buzzing in Florida. You don't know it at the time. How did that make you feel? Like, did you feel like that was a missed opportunity? Or do you well, feel like everything ran its course? Bad management. That's why you say how do you Let's go back to what I, what I told you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when did they reach out to me? If anybody don't know, for those that don't know who when did they is, when did they is the one who secured the situation. She even don't work with Tupac. Okay. She, she, she secured the situation with Master P. And she done a deal for uh, Cash Money with Universal. Damn. Okay. Uh, she had Rap Coalition. Um, when did they reached out to me? And she said, Birmingham Jail, I'm going to tell you like this. She said, you have a very good, decent buzz. Mm. She said, Yo, you are buzzing, but the people that's behind you you will have a national buzz if they really handle their business. I've been trying to get your music, but they playing. Mm. You know, all right. You know, we all know it's about money. You know what I'm saying? We all know that. You know, that's the fact that it's about money. You know, but the thing about it, she kept reaching out to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And she went to telling me that you know, I have had a lot of labels to talk to me about you. You know, she told me, she said that uh, your management sucks. <laughs> and she said, that is your, that's your fault, downfall. You know, well, let me tell you something. I don't know you. Yeah. But I know my nigga. Yeah. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, my nigga might, you know, <clears throat> I ain't finna go against my nigga for nobody. Right. So go back to what I told you about, man, make sure your business together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being honest. You know what I'm saying? That's what, <clears throat> you know, introduced me to a lot of things, you know. And I, I mean, I was here, my nigga was fumbling the ball, but at the end of the day, shh, I mean, 
Yes, what y'all want to tell the people in closing, man, what they expect from the bicep? Well, me personally, yeah. I most definitely want to say that you're going to expect poetry, nothing to down another person in life, but only to uplift or only to tell your story about somebody to make you it might be your story, mm. but it can uplift you to a certain point to get up and get out and get something. Don't let the days of your life pass by. We got to get up, get out and get something because you and I got to do for you and I, that's why. You know what I'm saying? Everything, <laughs> everything is a step, a step to success. Mm -hmm. And if I don't, uh, we don't show you steps to success, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you are a, a a person of, I would say, because we are thinking about calling our first album, ageless, timeless. We are a person that's of ageless, timeless, Thoughts. but we still are elders. Yeah. Uh -huh. So if we're here to teach you and to guide you, we have to show you. Mm. So we're going to give you the pain. So if we give you the pain, what the fuck you want to go through it for? Right. So what I would say our group is going to do for, that's going to bring to them is the real trueness of everyday life, the real trueness of not want to work a job, but we got to still get up. I don't want to work. I don't want a job. So my dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I don't want to work. You know what I'm saying? Like, just like you don't want to work, I don't, I don't want to work yeah, either. I don't want to work either. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it's like, we all in the same boat. So what the fuck am I going to on you for? Right. What about you, Toy? Yeah. She good. All of that, you know, it's, yeah. I mean, um, yeah, you know. Kind of. Yeah, what? Like, you think about a bike or whatever, for most of us, that's our first ride. Yes. So, when you do hear, you know, um, the music, I like to think of it as a journey that we like to, you know, gonna take or whatever. But when you hear, you know, think of it like that. It's like, uh, it's like, you know, like, you know, it's some vibe music, you know, uh, like you know you know one of our people who you know one of our bike riders say they want you know they can sip wine to it it's like we want to be able like whatever you doing you can vibe to this now what it probably won't do is you know you probably won't go crazy and run into the wild and you know do that rock music vibe oh, like nah, party no but you know we got we probably got one or two on there you never know what you will hear over just time. a little crump little yeah bump. we just Cause we just speaking off of the couple of songs that we made now, but who knows what we'll make. But what we got right now is a vibe. If it's nothing else, oh, it's, it's most a, definitely a vibe, y'all. I, 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 I've had the luxury to sit here and and hear about five, six songs, Thank and you. it's definitely a vibe. Uh, your song selections, I'm interested to see what makes the cut and what doesn't. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. But I definitely am locked in, not only to the music, to the live. When y'all go live again? On Sundays, we go live on Sundays, Sundays. between the hours of, well, 7, 7.30. You okay. know, 7.30 is when we really, like, try to kick off and start talking. Okay. But and y'all just have different topics, let yeah. the people come in. That's dope. Yeah. That's it's dope. really about our people. If you take the time to tune in to us, we're glad you're there. So it's really whatever what y'all talk about. Because most of what we'll do is we'll have conversations amongst ourselves, and we're like, okay, we're like, you know, but as we grow and get things, you know, you know, going, you know, we'll find a way to yeah. coast in the different ideas of how we either want to deliver, you know, our life. But right now it's just a bike ride. I like to imagine all of us like just going on a little nice little bike ride together. You know how sometimes we ride in the street and them little bike people get in front of you like they got some bumpers or like they gonna go over thirty miles per hour and you yeah. like go away. But you know, I don't feel like that anymore since, you know, with the bicycle. So